Section 1 You will hear a conversation between two students talking about driving lessons. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hi, Zach. I heard you passed your driving test. Congratulations. Thanks, Olivia. I passed just last week. It feels great to be independent and driving on my own. I really want to take driving lessons but I haven't been able to find a driving school that will give lessons during the weekends so that I don't have to miss any classes at college. The woman wants to take driving lessons during the weekends, so weekends has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Hi, Zach. I heard you passed your driving test. Congratulations. Thanks, Olivia. I passed just last week. It feels great to be independent and driving on my own. I really want to take driving lessons, but I haven't been able to find a driving school that will give lessons during the weekends so that I don't have to miss any classes at college. The driving school that I used was brilliant and really flexible with their teaching hours. It's really close to the school. The address is 67 Kings Road. That's 67 King, apostrophe S, Road. Oh, that's perfect. I don't like the idea of driving around busy streets. Did your teacher make you drive in urban areas? Or did he mainly teach you on roads in the countryside? My teacher said that I had to learn on both in order to become a good and experienced driver. We would start in the city centre and then drive north above the city. He sounds like a good teacher. Would you mind giving me his contact details so I can ask him for lessons? Of course. My mother's friend Daniel Smith referred me to him. His name is Alan Sutcliffe. Could you spell the surname, please? S-U-T-C-L-I-F-F-E Thanks for helping me out. I'll give him a call tomorrow. I don't know if I should learn in a manual or automatic car. How do I decide? I wasn't sure which type of car to learn in either. In the end, I chose to learn in a manual car, because once you've learnt how to drive manually, you can drive automatic as well. Most cars on the road are automatic nowadays. OK, I think I'll learn with a manual car too then. Hopefully the teacher will be able to give me lessons in the evenings after school. It would be much better if you take the lessons during the day. It will be far easier for you to learn when there is enough daylight to clearly see everything going on around you. But you need to be an experienced driver to drive safely at night. How frustrating. I was hoping I wouldn't have to take lessons during the weekends. You're right, though. Safety comes first. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Speaking of safety, you should wait until summer to start learning. It's really difficult and dangerous to drive in the wind and rain as a learner, so you should definitely wait until the weather is sunny and dry. 
Okay, that's perfect. Actually, it will give me some time to save up some money to pay for the lessons. Tell me about it. I had to work for months before I had enough money saved up. It was worth all the work when I finally got my driving license, though. The whole process is so expensive. How much did it cost you in the end? Well, each half-hour lesson cost thirty dollars, and then the final test cost fifty dollars. In total, it cost me about three hundred dollars. Gosh, it's pretty expensive. How did you find the test? Was it really difficult? No, it wasn't too bad, and the man was really calm and friendly. I knew that I would have to perform two parking manoeuvres during the test, so I practiced them a lot beforehand, and that really helped. The test used to last forty minutes, but it changed a bit. For the first twenty minutes of the test, he gave me directions, and I had to just drive around. And then the last ten minutes was for demonstrating the manoeuvres. So the test is thirty minutes in total. Okay, great. I'll remember that. Do you have any more advice? It's really good to practice driving a lot outside of driving lessons as well. Whenever my parents were running errands on the weekends, I would offer to drive them. My driving teacher also told me to buy a notebook to write down everything that I've learnt in it, like a diary. Ha <laughs> ha! That sounds boring, but I'll do it if it helps. I found it really useful. Before my test, I read through everything I had written down, and it reminded me of a lot of things that I had forgotten about. It's really helpful for the theory test as well because there's so much information to remember for it. That's great, Zach. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you at school. Bye. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section two.